Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. I'm gonna give you guys an update. I know you guys are probably like, where the fuck have you been? But don't worry, I got you. We are going to, we're gonna, we're gonna get into all of that. But um, it is literally at nine o'clock in the morning and it is the 22nd or 23rd girl don't get me lying but i'm about to make some coffee i need to um i just ordered some coffee off of amazon so i just ordered some coffee the peeps i love the peeps brand it's literally one of my favorite brands and i want to um put it in these like little little these little clear um acrylic well they're glass cases but put it in these little glass cases all right y'all i had to turn the lighting off on my camera because for some reason it was just being really weird all right, so funny story, guys. Tell me why I left my camera. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Tell me why I left my tripod in Destin. <sighs> so, but um, back home in PA, we are going to get our life in order. I need to... Um, I definitely want to um, look up some, like, promoting stuff and, like, pretty much how to, like... Just, like, more promoting um, in the sense of marketing like lashes because I definitely want to grow my lash clientele um, and then I also would like to um, continue like digital marketing because I have made a lot of money with digital marketing that's why I was able to just kind of get up and like go and just do whatever it is that I wanted to do so that was such a big blessing um, and then um, I'm trying to think I want to finish this book that I've been listening to and I want to get the editing like I want to edit some videos and stuff like that so that is what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to bring you guys along with me I really want to see how consistent I can be I don't want to put no pressure on myself but I definitely want to be consistent um, I really so much anxiety with like a bunch of different shit on my counter so i don't i don't i don't do those i don't do those y'all look at this like is it just my kids that just are disrespectful like this like y'all don't know how to put stuff in a dishwasher y'all which y'all got broke legs broke fingers and toes all right, friends, let's make some coffee because I can't start my day without it. So I want to get rid of this um, wine cooler or wine little refrigerator right here. Um, I just feel like it's not ideal for this area considering it is small. And I want to paint the back of this area because like, why is it black? So I ordered a bunch of decor from Amazon. I want to get back into decorating my house and just doing super cute things and thrifting. So stay tuned for those videos that are coming up so that you guys can see how I organize everything. But let's get into making this coffee you guys i love this coffee maker i've had it for several years now and it has never failed me it's really great for all different kinds of coffees you can make espressos cappuccinos iced coffee you can make espresso shots literally amazing and i've been loving um the starbucks creamer and i've also really been loving um the chobani creamers and 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 um i really like the natural bliss creamer i like the sweet cream um especially because i can put different flavors in it and i can froth it and put it right over um my iced coffee but this is pretty much what i do this is like my little go-to in the morning i'm going to order some things i think i'm gonna do like a fried uh well we had rice yesterday we had like taco bowls they were so like burrito bowls they were so good y'all mm. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get this house cleaned up. So typically at night, I like to run my dishwasher. And then in the morning, I like to um, empty my dishwasher out and put everything where it needs to go. I like to scrub my sink in the night and in the morning. I don't know what it is. It's just, I just love it. I love using my little scrub daddy and I love scrubbing my sink every day. Cleaning, Even though my house is typically spotless um, because my kids, like they know better than to clean up after themselves because I am nobody's slave, okay? It's just, you got to teach your kids at a young age. Like, my kids, my kids knew at a young age. Like, y'all got me fucked up if y'all think I'm going to be sitting up here slaving. Like, no. Get that ass downstairs and let's go. 
And then I'm just gonna wipe everything down with the disinfectant wipes. That's like the last thing that I like to do because I'm real funny, real funny. That makes me feel better. I feel like I did something. Like even though I did that like twice, I just, I like to make sure everything is wiped down as it should be. Let me put this in my bathroom, y'all. I've been literally like, when I tell you I got so much shit in the bathroom, scrub body stuff, it's it's getting ridiculous. Why is that packed up like that? Like there is literally no more room. And I bought like the things on the wall to like stick on it. Y'all, it's hard to be, listen, Living with a man is hard, okay? Because they just be doing the most. And it's so cute though. Like I have this like little area here where it's like, I got my little girl wipes, my whatever I need. But all right, so this is what I do like every morning, just to sanitize and make sure everything's clean. And then y'all, I go and I do like all of our handles with the disinfectant wipes. Cause we touch this stuff every day. Now I'm going to head upstairs and get my life in order, put a little bit of makeup on just so I can feel beautiful and not that I don't feel beautiful, but y'all get it. I feel like if I don't like, if I don't get myself together in the mornings, I don't feel motivated about life and I want to feel motivated. Plus I want to show you guys some products that I picked up that I am hey friends. All right, y'all. So getting ready to show you guys my go-to makeup products lately that I've been loving. Really quick, I just want to show you guys what I was talking about as far as um, like my go-to makeup lately. I have been like loving more of a like um, dewy, uh, glowy skin makeup look. Um, and it just like my skin, first of all, can be very, um, dry. Like I can, like my skin can be on the very dry side. So I have been really, um, appreciating like all of the new hydrating, radiant, glow, flawless, like filters. Um, I'm going to show you guys what my drawer looks like. It's very simple, very clean looking. So this is like my go-to like makeup drawer. Um, this is literally, sorry y'all. Um, this is literally all of my go-to products, the things that I like to use for, like, my skin. I have the Flawless, the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, but it's too light for me now. Like, my, like, I've gotten a lot of color being in Florida. But I have been loving the e.l.f. Halo Glow Flawless Filter. Um, this is not a foundation. This is more of a just, like, it, like, it says Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. And then I use this, like, to, like, contour or bronze, like, give my skin some color. So I'll go in with this, like, for my base and this for, like, color. And then um, prior to that, I do like to use these two products. And a lot of people are like, that's a lot of glow. Yes. So I like to use the Lumi um, Glotion. And then this one I like to use all over my face. And this is SPF 40. And um, I like to use this one like when I go outside because obviously it's summer. I was in Florida and I really needed to have some SPF on my face. Plus it gives you like a glow. I don't even have to use these products. I could literally just put this on and keep pushing. So that's like for my base. And then this is the Black Opal um, True Color um, Radiant Stick. And I really, really love this one. And then I like to go in with also the um, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Wand, Beauty Wand. So I have, I don't use them all together, but like I kind of just mix and match and whichever is the closest, whichever I grab. But I have been loving these two lately. So I have been obsessing over these. I love them. They're literally amazing. I love them. Um, I use this one like more like after I bronze and then I'll put these like on my cheekbones. And I love how they're like iridescent. And then for concealer, y'all, First and foremost, these are literally the best fucking concealers, like, ever. I don't care what nobody say. So, these are the, um, this is the Hourglass Concealer. Y'all, when I tell you this is the best concealer that I have ever tried in my entire life, um, I love this concealer so much, you guys. It is amazing. And then I use this to, like, brighten up a little bit. Um, but yeah, you guys, this concealer, top tier, literally the best. I have been obsessing over it. And then for setting powders, y'all, tried and trues. I have my Givenchy setting powder. This is in, um, this one's in the rose, the violet rose. And it's just a bunch of pink powders. And it makes such a big difference. It doesn't leave your under eyes um, super yellowy. 
Um, I just really love it. And then, of course, my other tried and true, which is my Hourglass Mineral Veil. It is such a good setting powder. I feel like a lot of people sleep on this one. It's so, so good. And my face powder that I love to use is the Starlight. Um, this is the... Um, Laura Mercier one. I love, love this one for my face. It's amazing. Um, you guys, I literally live by it. Like, literally the best. And then for, like, bronzer and stuff like that, I use this, um, I really, really love this one by Makeup Forever. Um, this one is amazing, and I love it because it's not too bronze. Like, it's bronzy, but it's, like, more cool tone. So you're not gonna look, like, orangey. Y'all, that's what I be using. Love, love, love it. And then, of course, I have my MAC blushes that, like, are literally amazing. I have Love Joy and Warm Soul. That's pretty much what I've been using, y'all. Little go-to. I have some drugstore stuff, some high-end stuff. Um, y'all know how it is. Drugstores be killing the game. And I am a drugstore lover. But I also love me some high-end products as well. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to talk to you guys in a bit. I have a grocery order that's probably delivered or on its way. Yeah, look, it's getting ready to arrive. So I'm going to do a grocery haul with you guys in a few. I was so run down all day yesterday that I wanted to make sure he got something to eat. Drink, cuts and flops down onto the chairs and the couch. He slouches into the seat and stretches his long legs. I ask flatly as I have no interest in being cordial right now. He drinks, not eats. So I look a little crazy right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So really quick, I'm gonna sh just do like a little grocery haul with you guys since it's been a minute. I just got like basics. All right, so I got some apple juice, organic apple juice. And then I grabbed some um, protein yogurt. Um, Noah loves these. I love these for like a snack. I got some sour cream. I got some strawberry and cream cheese. Strawberry cream cheese, regular cream cheese. I did get these feta blocks. I love these for like pasta. They're so good. And then I also picked up this. This was supposed to be the garlic herb one, but that's fine. They gave me the garden vegetable one. I got these um, butter. These are really good buttermilk pancakes, you guys. Um, and I get these for the kids in the morning. That way they can have some breakfast in the morning. Bread. I get the wheat bread. Typically I get the Dave's, whatever it's called. Um, and then I got some bagels because we need bagels, obviously. Two carton of eggs because we're like literally running low. Alright, All right, so I picked up some cheeses for like some snacks. Like this small thing. I got these um, mozzarella mild meatballs to like make spaghetti with. You guys, they're so good. I also picked up these hash browns because the kids love them in the morning. I picked up some organic um, Simply Nature 100% grass fed ground beef. I had to think about it for a second. I got some of these for the kids when they eat their salads. These are just croutons. I got these for rice cakes. These are the snacks like when I have like like during the day when I get like I want to eat something. I'll put um I'll eat these with like tuna or something. We like our stuff extra cooked here. No raw shit. I don't know how people be having some raw ass food. Look at that. Ooh. I like to put some of this um, Larry's seasoning salt. It's so good. It's like the perfect like adobo replacement. I don't really do like Spanish seasonings unless I'm cooking Spanish food. Aside from that, you will never see me using Spanish seasonings. I, I got it. Thank you. I need to get plate. Here. Give me. There you go. Thank you. We'll ask him. That's a terrible burden. 
All right, guys. So as you can see, I am watching my favorite TV show of all time. And it is the originals. I love Niklaus. Klaus is literally my favorite. I swear that's my baby dad. Anyway, you guys, I love it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just chilling here in my room, minding my business, watching TV, editing my videos. This is typically what I do towards the evening after like my day is like pretty much almost over with, I guess you can say. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's Sunday. We got invited to um, Xavier's birthday party, which is like my sister's son. So he's like my nephew. He, she's actually my cousin, but I call her my sister because like we were, we literally grew up together. But um, I just got done getting myself together. I put a little bit of makeup on because I was like, you know what? I need to get my life together because looking like a man is not giving. Um, so I just got done doing that. Um, yeah, the kids are literally um, laying down for a little bit, like chilling. They were up a little late last night. Um, and I told them, I said, this week is the last week. Sorry, y'all. Trying to throw this out. This week is the last week you guys are going to be up late because school's going to be starting. Yeah, so I'm just here. I'm getting ready to get a little bit of content, like behind the scene contents of like a lash tech. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like sit over here, like sit there and just like, um, I'm going to sit there and I'm, I'm and look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to sit there and I'm just going to like um you know like practice some lashes or whatever so um the reason for that is because i want to create some content um for my instagram like my makeup and lash instagram page i really been wanting to change the background because if i'm gonna be doing makeup i want it to be more like of a clean background and in my pictures it has this background which is fine but it's just not ideal for like an actual makeup artist so i am going to be using this background right here for um makeup so what i want to do is um i actually have this chair that's my makeup chair i'm going to put it there and then i'm just going to take like pictures of people's makeup or whatever here um but as of now i'm just going to move my stuff because i do have some stuff i need to get out the way y'all this child my daughter is so ghetto um but yeah so that's what i want to do because i don't like i want to try to make my like my instagram as, as professional as possible um and with that being said in order to do that i need to make sure that i don't have background like clothes and, and bags and purses and stuff like that because that's kind of ghetto not that it's ugly looking but it's just like not ideal Betty in the building all right, guys, so these raggedy ass kids are playing dodgeball, so we're gonna try to figure out what we're doing. What are we doing? Right, we're about to go go kart. Yeah, we're gonna go go kart and fuck some shit up. Period. Cause I'll be your enemy. If you want love, look somewhere else. Hey, I'll see you for nothing. Just give it up. I'm not your girl, cause I only love. She got that entrance and I got this one. These motherfuckers ain't coming up here. Guys. Let me, let me, let me do it. Let me find out how far I can. Okay? That's 
Is there more? I think you want to put on that shirt. Hi. Here he is. Happy birthday to you. To you. Woohoo! Hey friends, welcome back. So <clears throat> today is a pretty much a full day of lashes. I have two lash clients and then I have one brow client. Um, and then Malia, she actually has been doing nails. Um, so she's been practicing nails on like family members and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> she has two nail clients and yeah, I'm excited for us. I'm excited for her. So that's like, this is like what I work out of at the moment. Um, and I'm loving it. Like, I love it. And then for makeup, I typically do makeup like right in front of this vanity, like this vanity section. So um, it just, it makes for like a very small, compact, but um, good environment. Like it's very airy in here. It's very, very cute in here. Very airy. I, I like to keep it super clean. Um, and I love it. I love it. It, it gets the job done makes me my money so let me put y'all back on here sorry let me get cleaned up though because i do have a client coming um and i don't like to like procrastinate when it comes to like making sure that i'm on point i have everything set up i know exactly what i'm going to be using all of that hey friends so we're jumping into my first client she is the lawyer one i do her makeup all the time and then this is my second one this girl is amazing i love that she always wants her lashes done and then Finally, my last client of the day. You guys, it was such a busy day. All right, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm getting ready to do my nails, and I got a lot of things that I need to get done today. So I'll record that and put that in the next video. But yeah, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stayed for the ending of the video, I love you. Um, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.